Hey Rams, it's almost Christmas break and we're here to give you another episode of Rim Train News. I'm your anchor, Tymia Palmer. And I'm Naomi Mejia. Rim Train News is here to give you the latest news and information about your school. So let's get started. Welcome, Welcome back, back Ram, Ram Nation. Nation. can be a bit stressful. We also know that each senior at Tyner has the potential to succeed in no matter what comes their way. We asked a few seniors to reflect on the semester this far. They shared some of their struggles and some of their accomplishments. Um, did your first semester of senior year live up to your expectations? Not exactly. It was just very overwhelming. Like, it really wasn't about high school at all. Like, basically just what my next step in life as far as college and what college I'm going to, and it's just very overwhelming. Um, not exactly, because they say for, um, senior year is going to be your easiest year. Well, it's kind of been the hardest year for me so far, because you got to worry about what college apply for these, get your ACT score, um, still working, trying to do about two hours. So it's just a lot, and it's overwhelming. So, I hope it's a bad part of sitting here because this ain't what I'm looking for right now. No. Why? Because uh, my AP teacher was, he broke both his ankles on two steps. And that's the only class, steps. that's the only class I really need. Um, yes. I mean, Why? senior year. It was very chill, relaxed. I think next semester is going to be like a lot of pressure and due dates, prom, graduation, all that stuff is gonna be overwhelming for us next semester. It was great because I mean I don't really like teachers, you know what I'm saying? But I like some teachers, so it, was straight. it evened out. No. Why? I was ready to give up on the first day. Especially Cooper class. Especially Galante class. Cause I was just tired. I'm tired of both of them, but I love them, but I'm tired of them. I'm tired of class. Okay, does senior year first semester live up to your expectations? Why not? Speaking of seniors, the college application process is still in effect. For those of you who haven't applied to any schools yet, time is ticking. But don't worry, Ram Train News has your back. We have compiled a list of in-state colleges and their application deadlines so that you all have the chance to apply to the college of your dreams. Austin Peay University has a fall 2018 admissions deadline of August 8th. Vanderbilt University has a deadline of January 1st. The University of Tennessee at Knoxville has a December 15th regular admissions deadline. Middle Tennessee State University has a July 1st priority admissions deadline. Tennessee State University has an August 1st application submission deadline. All documents need to be received by August 10th to be considered for admissions. The University of Memphis has a July 1st application deadline. We are extremely proud of our Tyner Ram football team for making it to the state championship. Even though our Rams didn't claim the victory, they worked very hard and made us even more proud to be a Tyner Ram. What have you done differently that led the team this far? As compared to 1997. Yeah. Uh, nothing really. I mean, we've changed the way that we practice somewhat. Uh, this year we hadn't been going in full gear as much as we did in 97, so sort of lightened up on them as far as that goes, as far as full contact. How do you feel? about making it this far as compared to 97? Well, it's, 
just like 97. It's a tremendous accomplishment that these young men have, have put up and, and done for us such an effort. So, you know, I think it's pretty great. come together and played so well all through the course of the season, never gave up, had a lot of fight, a lot of heart, showed a lot of character. Several times we were down, they didn't give up, kept battling back and pulled the games out, got on a 12 game winning streak. Not everybody gets to play for the state championship like these young men did and they did a great job of representing Tyner, did a great job of representing the city of Chattanooga as well in the state playoffs. Ram Train News is in the holiday spirit, and we decided to share some Christmas cheer with our fellow classmates and teachers. What's your Christmas tradition? Um, normally, we all, uh, like, on Christmas Day, well, Christmas Eve, we all open in one gift, um, and, I, and then on Christmas Day, like, we, every, after everybody opened their gifts, we, like, we allowed to bring at least two or um, three gifts to our grandmother's house, and that's where everybody goes, and, you know, we exchange extra gifts over there, and we just eat and be. With our family all day. We wake up, go to my granny. We go to my granny house. We go to uh, yeah, my granny house, my family people house. So we crazy. Uh, we go down to Augusta, Georgia, where my family's from, and um, spend all day opening presents. And um, usually about 35, 45 people in the house, and we all, so we all go to Grammys. That's my tradition. Name three of Santa's reindeer. Oh, I got this. All right, it's Rudolph. Great right nose reindeer. Um, Dasher, <laughs> wait a minute, they call him um, Dasher, Nixon. What's Nixer, the, what's the two in the and Nixon. What else? What's the two in the bag? The red nose, that's all I know. <laughs> Rudolph, that's my cousin. Prancer, Owen Dasher. Let's see, Rudolph, Donner, Vixen. Sing Jingle Bell Rock. We go see the lane. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. 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 <laughs> this is your pop version. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Hey. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. That's all I got. <laughs> We're going to leave you with one more quote of the week. Albert Einstein once said, Stay away from negative people. They have a problem for every solution. Well, Rams, this has been our episode of Ram Train News. We all hope you have enjoyed this show just as much as we have enjoyed giving you our weekly news. We appreciate you for being loyal viewers, and we hope you have a safe and happy holiday. We'll see you in 2018. Be bright and stay positive, Rams. Merry Christmas! <laughs>